Hi folks, this is Sario for C Winner. Uh, today we are going to look into uh, sort of a three in one, if you will. Uh, one is context, anti gravity muscles, and uh, probably some amount of whether the muscle works from the distal to proximal or proximal to uh, distal. So these are all sort of together we have to see it rather than separately so i thought i will put the whole thing in a, a single video right so for that uh, what i thought was i will show you three videos uh, to make us understand uh, what i mean by context what i mean by anti-gravity muscles and uh, things like that or distal to uh, proximal activation or proximal So first is a video of um, Vadivel is standing on the bus without uh, holding and the other guy saying that he's such a great man that uh, he will never hold uh, or sit in a bus, right? <clears throat> and uh, we all know what happens if you are from Tamil Nadu, we all know that what happens if when they, when they, when they apply the brakes suddenly he falls out, right? Uh, so what's the lesson here uh, as you all imagine uh, as you all know uh, here the anti-gravity muscle is not the uh, muscles of the foot right why because unlike apes we can't hold with our foot right we can't bend it like this right so we have to anchor uh, so to something on a moving object and here the moving object is the bus so we have to anchor with your hands right we have to hold it that is your sort of anti-gravity muscles and also remember uh, the, the muscle activity may start from here and go like this and then go to your lower limb rather than starting from the lower limb and coming to the uh, upper limb so this happens for the context right here the context is, is the move you are standing on a uh, moving object right so you need to understand the uh, so anti-gravity muscles cannot be defined as the extensors of the back or the soleus or things like that, right? So we will see the uh, uh, next video now. Even if you are sometimes, uh, I mean, similar idea here, uh, even if you are uh, holding on to the bus, right? Even if you are sort of holding on, but when there is a sudden break, then you tend to fall. Uh, forward uh, and as you can imagine it's a some uh, last in movie so they are uh, falling on the curve and also the next uh, common example is if you are traveling like this right like this uh, you know that your anti-gravity muscle is your uh, arms right so uh, so these two videos are just to share, say that uh, context is very important and the context here is you are in a moving object and when you are in a moving object uh, you need to um, uh, you need to be uh, fixing with your hands as you cannot fix with your uh, legs right right so the last video is to show about uh, a lot of people think that the core is important that that, that sort of nonsense so i thought i will show you a, a video where it is important but in a particular context so in this you can see that he is uh, climbing a vertical mountain and you can see that he is uh, it's a gopro short so you can see that he is holding his hands uh, that is that is your fixator um, unlike uh, your uh, remember third law which says that I have to push down to go upwards uh, in this case uh, there is no there is no sufficient uh, uh, it's not always easy to push with his uh, leg so what he might do is he may hold on with this hand and then pull himself up right when you pull him yourself up and uh, sort of bend your knees and things like that pull your knees upwards and your hips upwards you may use your uh, abdominal muscles. You can see that also in uh, uh, in sort of programs like uh, Ninja Warrior uh, in AX and right where they 
go like this and climb on that. So that kind of things you may need a, a abdomen. So what does it all say? Whether it is the muscle who starts from working from here to here or here to here or what muscle is working, uh, what muscle will act as uh, anti-gravity muscle, all these depends on uh, context because biology is uh, one of the, uh, you can't understand biology without context because it, it works in a sort of unsettled, Unchanged, I mean, changing environment, right? Uh, so, the the idea of that these are the group of muscles which will work as anti-gravity muscles and things like that should be uh, strong. Probably one true anti-gravity muscle, if you will, is your uh, masseters, right? Uh, if you think about it, uh, as we are talking about the bias, if somebody is uh, in a deep sleep, they uh, like this uh, and they fall like this also because your uh, the back muscles of your neck uh, is what is keeping you straight right your deep flexors, deep flexors and things like that and <clears throat> you'll see that they uh, open the mouth and it starts dripping probably your muscles are always working other than that uh, most of the muscles are uh, most of the muscles are uh, specific to our uh, Context. So if you want to see more uh, content like this, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, until next time, bye.